All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Monster! And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist with his professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Groovy South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night turn. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Oh, a huge block there. Tagged him. Flipped him with the jab. Nice leg kick. Right hand and a left. And he eats a right hand there. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Look at that nasty jab. It's in. He's deep. He's going to clasp the hands together. Busy as he looks to improve position here. Back to full guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Choi. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And a nice jab. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Right hand upstairs. And another one lands to the head. Switching stances here. Missed that shot. Big left hand. Dropping down, looking for a single. Excellent feint with the kick. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. And he lands a nice kick. Lead hook is good by Short. Nice leg kick. I check that leg kick, Joe. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand.
looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Choi. Oh, he's blocked that offense, Joe. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Single leg takedown is good. Posture's up here. He lands a hammer fist. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. He's just laying an outstanding leg kick. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, working the inside of that leg. Slips to avoid the right. Hit him with the jab. Just misses with the jab there. Kick lands for him there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice. 30 seconds now to go in round one. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. Quick jab. The kick gets through. Checks the leg kick, Joe. Man, that cut has really opened up. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Joe, pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. Tags him with the left hand. Four Bang! sounds for the yeah, end of round one. All right, sit down. Deep breath, for me. Big breath. Slow that heart rate down. Everything you're throwing is working, okay? Everything. Let's stay heavy. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. Second round underway. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seemed to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. Look at that. Nice. Well, it took him a little bit of time to find his timing, find the range. He has found it now. He continues to connect with a series of strikes. That'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Choi. Oh, going to the head kick now, it's good. Hook to the head, lands flush there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Just missed with the left there. Boy, Ty Plump. And he goes to the knee to the body. And separate. Shot to the body is blocked. These guys are swinging. Nice punch by Choi. Dodges that leg kick there, Joe. Oh, good kick. Great kicks there. Just over three minutes to go now. Now, 
Now he's on top in half guard. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Oh, effective strike there by Short. And he's back in the guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Oh, hook to the head by the Korean Super Bowl. Good defense there. Working out of that southpaw stance. Battling for hooks. You get double under hooks here. Two minutes remain in the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And a nice straight right hand. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Hooked to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice knee to the body, very nice. Stuffed that one. He's looking to take the back. Do this. Looks like he's got it now. He rolls on. He's got it under the chin now. He's trying to go palm to palm. That is just an amazing technique. That rear naked choke is in deep. Any second now, he may have to tap. Oh, look at that. Slips right out of it. He's in guard here. Lands a good shot from the bottom. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Joe, nice head movement there to slip that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. Oh, he's got a good Muay Thai clinch here, Joe. One overhook, one underhook. And there comes the separation now. Oh! Joy gets caught by that frustrating punch. Nice job by the offense there. All right, that's the end of round number two. Yes. All right, take a seat. Great round, bud, man. You look spectacular. You were outworking him everywhere. You And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see that again. And let's look at that from another camera angle. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. Ready? Ready? Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and I'm excited to see it, Joe Rogan. Pretty good round for both guys the last time out. Now we'll see if one fighter or another can really take control of this fight. Both fighters have been aggressive, but also defensive. We'll see how they approach this next round and try to really put this fight in their favor. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Flush right hand is true. He che he's checking every single one of those. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Lands to the body there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, spinning back fist. He solved it right there. Very nice. Oh. Right punches there. 
Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Back to over under. Oh, now he's got the tight clinch, Joe. Connects with the punch there. And they move out of the clinch. Head kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well-placed kick there by Choice. Nice shot. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Tagged him with the overhand, Joe. And he nails him again. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Very nice timing with these shots here. Looking to avoid that left hand. Slightly deflected. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful jab, beautiful jab. Sharp timing. Nice right hook. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Hit him with that straight left there. Struggling to get to clinch. There he goes, he moves to the back. And they disengage from the clinch. Strong defense there to block the shot, nice instincts. shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he missed that kick. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. but miss. Blocks the shot. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Almost hits him with that left hook. Very nice kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Joe, that is one well-timed overhand there by Chor. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. And another perfectly placed strike. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. 
and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Nice leg kick. a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. Right on the button. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Very nice sweep. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's got full, oh, nope, half guard. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Looking for a guillotine. He's looking for a guillotine choke. He's in full guard here. What he needs to do to get the guillotine is first, he's got to throw his arm over the back of his opponent's head. Then he's got to slide his foot. Oh, and my God! Is. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, four seconds of round number four, he played the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.